Hello my loves Welcome to your weekly full body Reiki session Today we'll be doing a full body scan to release a negative self-image There will be some very gentle tapping some singing bowls some smoke cleanses crystals and of course we're going to scan the whole body as well so to get started I am going to take some time to cleanse your aura of any stresses of the day, any energies that are lingering in your energy field For that, I'm going to be using this orange blossom incense So feel free to take a moment to set an intention for today's Reiki healing session I'm going to be using this pine branch to help diffuse smoke of the incense all throughout your body and it has an orange blossom smell as the name indicates so it's fresh and fruity but it has a little bit of musk in there as well so it's quite a warm smell And while I energetically clean your body of the stresses of the day just take a moment to tune in with your body and your mind and just see how you're feeling without any judgment, just observing the state that you are currently in being gracious towards yourself you're only human so if you're not feeling that great it's all okay it's just part of the human experience and there's nothing wrong with you for feeling down today or just maybe not your best Hopefully this video will help you start shifting things a little bit So bringing it to the topic of our self-image I want you to start bringing to the surface any wounds that you have around your self-image and just imagine those wounds like actual physical little balls of energy that you're holding on to and just press those to the surface through your skin out into your aura because later on we will be cutting cords with these words and these wounds when it comes to our self-image
And it's important to remember that a lot of the negative words that we carry about ourselves originated from someone else's mind, someone else's mouth. We carry the hurtful words of others within ourselves. And in the same way that we have accepted them in when we were younger, we can also banish them from our energetic field. We can release our attachment to them, our bond to them. So, just bringing those words, those wounds to the surface. Pushing them out of your own skin, out of your body. And if any of these are too overwhelming to bring to the surface, just tap back in with your breath, making sure your breath is slow and even, gentle and soft. And we don't have to do this clearing in one go, so if it feels better to you, we can come back to this video a couple of times and just take it layer by layer. There's no place for perfectionism in this healing space. We're all a work in process or work in progress. And whatever state you're at is good. Okay. Just one more down the middle line of your body. So, I'm placing the incense off to the side here on my little incense holder. The smoke will continue to protect this healing as we go through it. Helping you to pull out those wounds, those words, pulling them up to the surface. And as I said earlier in this session, the negative words that we tie to our self-image, to ourselves, a lot of times aren't even our own words. They originated from the mind of someone else and were then projected onto us, usually when we were still quite young. So, what we want to do is just pull out those words, realize that they're not ours, they're not true. We are 
are the sole person who gets to decide how we view ourselves what image we have about ourselves scissors with me and I'm going to be using it to cut cords with any negative associations we have with ourselves with who we are as a person the way that we look, with our talents and capabilities anything that is negative and harmful towards ourselves we're just going to prune it out of your system of your energy field just pulling it out Letting it go. And a lot of times the people who are the most judgmental are people who are very hard on themselves as well. Who have themselves grown up in a very harsh environment emotionally or physically. And so, if anyone has projected any hard words onto you, any painful words, realize that most likely they themselves were hurting as well. And of course, that doesn't make it okay that they said mean things about you. But it helps us understand that their words aren't true. They're just a projection, a continuation of their own pain, of their own prison that they find themselves in. And so first we want to break ties with any negative self-images. And then later on in the session, we'll bring in healing and more positive outlook on ourselves to more balanced one. But first, we prune away. bring it down the body because we store memories in our physical body as well to 
release it once and for all. It's no longer yours. Brushing the sides of your body And if you still find yourself in a harsh environment where a lot of painful words are being spoken. Try your best to remove yourself from that environment. Find people who are gentle and kind and surround yourself with them. Find ways to create distance so that you may heal. so that you can catch a breath my pine branch again which is oddly very soft feels like freshly washed hair <laughs> I'm just going to sweep away any remnants just create a nice clean canvas So that it's easier for the healing to sink in the Reiki. Let's get started with our healing. I'm going to start at your feet. I'm just going to place my hands a couple of centimeters above your feet. And I want you to bring your mind and your awareness to your feet. Imagine every 
every song of your feet being filled with love. Moving up to your ankles, sending love and gratitude to your ankles for everything that they do for you. Imagine every cell in your ankles being filled with love, overflowing with love. Overflowing with love, overflowing with love. And you can feel this love creeping up towards your lower legs. Thank your lower legs for everything that they do for you. The mobility that they give you, the ability to walk around, to do whatever it is you like to do with your legs, whatever kind of sport or art or again even just the basics like being able to walk around, being able to move, filling your lower legs with love until they're overflowing. Every cell is filled with love. Going up to the knees, thanking your knees for everything that they do for you. The fact that they allow you to bend your legs, to move around and about, filling your knees with love, overflowing. And if you have some knee injuries or problems, sending love to those areas that are out of balance or have some kind of injury to them. Sending love to the pain. Allowing your knees to overflow with love. And then moving up to your upper legs, your thighs. Giving thanks to your thighs for everything that they do. And if you have any negative feelings towards your thighs, See if you can see the beauty in them. The fact that they allow you to move around, to jump, to dance. How strong they are. The fact that they carry your whole upper body. How beautiful they are. And if you have any stretch marks, give love to them too for they are places where you expanded as a person. Giving love to any cellulite, anything else that you might feel negative about. We only feel negative about these things because society tells us to feel this way. But it's not because society tells us that we have to follow suit. And we have to buy into their view of beauty, of worthiness. We can sculpt that for ourselves. So thinking our thighs, filling them with love, overflowing. Every cell of your thighs filled with love. And moving up to your hips, where 
A lot of us hold stored memories, emotions. And again, filling your hips with the purest of love. Sending love to every part of your hip for the fact that it allows you to move around to do your favorite sports and hobbies and for everyone who is able to bear children for the fact that their hips are the seat for our children a comfortable place to nest in, to ground into Sending love to every cell of your hips, to the cellulite, to the stretch marks, whatever it is that in your mind is keeping you from loving your hips, send it love anyways. Send it the purest love that you know. Your hips deserve to be loved for how they are for exactly how they are, for everything that they do for us, for the freedom that they give us. And then moving the awareness up to your belly, allow that love to flow up into your belly, filling every cell of your belly all the organs here, saying thanks to the organs for everything that they do for us, the assimilation of energy, of nutrients, the fact that they keep us alive. Giving thanks to your belly, whatever shape it comes in. Just feel its softness, allow it to be soft. And sending love to every cell of your belly, allowing it to overflow. Letting go of whatever society tells us that our belly should look like. And remember that society's image of beauty is constantly changing and that we don't need anyone outside of ourselves to tell us whether our belly is worthy of love and admiration. It is worthy for everything that it does for us for everything that it gives us. And you are beautiful just the way you are. You are worthy just the way you are. You don't have to change. You can be you. And you don't owe anyone beautiful to their standards. You can be you. There is space for you to be you. Just as you are. Just perfectly as you are. And then moving higher up towards your chest and your heart. Giving love to this part of your body to your ribcage and your lungs for making it possible for you to breathe air for keeping you alive for allowing you to run fast and to adapt
giving things to any other organs like your heart, your liver, giving love to your breasts if you have breasts, giving love to your chest, and allowing for your chest to take up whatever shape it takes up, whatever space it wants to take in, filling your whole chest area with love, allowing every single cell to be filled, overflowing with love. Your chest is beautiful and perfect just the way it is. And it is worthy just the way it is. Giving thanks to your heart for keeping you alive, for pumping your blood all around your body, delivering nutrients to every single cell of your body. Good. Allow this love to be pulled up towards your shoulders, down the arms, giving thanks to your arms, starting with the upper arms and then flowing into the lower arms, being grateful for everything that they do for you. For allowing you to reach for things, to move around, giving love to your hands, for allowing you to be creative, to make things with your hands, to sculpt, to draw, to paint, to work on your computer, whatever it is you do with your hands. Thanking all of your fingers, however many of them you have, or however little of them you have. Allowing your arms and your hands to be filled with love, absolutely overflowing with love. Every single cell of your arms and your hands are filled with pure love, pure radiance, pure gratitude, just for their existence, nothing else. They are so worthy just by existing. And then moving up to your throat, giving thanks to what your vocal cords allow you to do, expressing yourself. Maybe you're a singer or an actor, so thanking your voice for its ability to express yourself in a creative, artsy way. Thanking our neck for supporting our head. Saying thanks to every single cell in your neck, allowing it to be filled, overflowing with love. Just feel the love vibrating through your neck and your throat. Feel it warm up. And if you've had any issues with your neck recently, any sore throats or neck aches in the muscles, just feel the love and the warmth traveling to those places. Good. Moving to your head, I'm going to be coming up behind you. 
placing my hands on the sides of your cheeks and just saying things to your head, your face, your hair if you have any being grateful for how your face allows you to express yourself your eyes, which give you the ability to see the world around you your ears, which allow you to hear and then sending love to any parts of our face or our head that maybe we don't like as much releasing any societal pressure how we think we should look again, we don't owe anyone pretty it's not our purpose here on earth to be pretty for other people we can just be us, there's more to life and we are definitely worthy worthy of all the love all the healthy, beautiful, healing love saying thanks to your intellect, your mind no matter whether you've been called smart or dumb sending thanks to your intellect, your mind, for everything that it does for you how it allows you to process things in your life, in your world keeping our body in balance overseeing every process in our body so sending love to your mind allowing it to be filled to the brim with love see it being illuminated from the inside out with pure love overflowing with love and then stay in this state I'm going to sweep your body a few times here we have been focusing mainly on the physical aspects of our self-image so if there is anything else surrounding your self-image that you want to heal whether it's parts of your personality that you feel insecure about just bring those to the foreground and hold them with love allowing any other part that we haven't touched upon yet to come forward to be illuminated and just imagine yourself gently holding that part of yourself we don't have to fit in to what society tells us to be we are perfect the way we are we are worthy the way we are we don't have to fit in we can make our own rules about what's worthy so just holding yourself gently and with love holding those aspects of yourself that feel tender and raw that feel maybe neglected or beaten holding those parts allowing them to be filled with pure love you are the only one on this earth that can decide whether you're worthy about something or not whether you're worthy of love worthy of happiness worthy of 
the type of life that you want to live, however that looks like. And really the most courageous thing that we can do in our society is to be our true selves, no matter what society tells us about what's beautiful, about what's worthy. Feel free to stay in this state for a little while longer if you want to. I'm going to close off the session here. I'll see you guys this Sunday for another ASMR Reiki video.